Hi everybody, it's Teresa, the Dental Assistant Tutor. But today I'm going to show you how to sew. You're going to want to know how to sew. I came across something that was really neat. You take some pipes and you stitch it into some old fabric and you have a mask. And it does close in and it does seal here. And you have all control on how tight you want it. And the fabric, if it stretches, works the best, okay? Because we're working on a shortage of masks. We got to figure out what to do. Saw a bright young lady start to make these. She's overwhelmed. So I'm going to go ahead and start making some. Um, I, but what I want to do really is show everybody how to make them. Because I know everybody's short, okay? So what you're going to do is get a piece of fabric, okay? Just cut yourself a piece of fabric. It does not have to be perfect in this rectangle, okay? Unless you're a perfectionist, but we're just trying to get uh, some type of protection. What you're going to do with the fabric is you're going to take your sewing machine, all right? And don't worry, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just do it. You know, it's going to take you a little longer, but watch how fast this goes. So you take this, you're going to fold this like so onto it, okay? And then what I'm going to do is put it into my sewing machine. Hear my kitty in the background? All right, so then I have it in my sewing machine. Let me make sure you can see it good. Okay. And then hold it here at the opposite end. I'm going to take my rheostat, my sewing machine pedal, gas pedal, and I'm going to start to stitch. Just like so. Okay. So I got one side done. Pull it out. Cut your string. Make sure you take the string and you tie it where you cut it. Give me one second. Tie it in a knot. Always double knot it like you're doing a suture, doctor. Come on, doctors. You can make these for your staff, too. Okay. Stitch it like so. Just like you cut a suture, just cut a little bit away from it, okay? Take the other end, tie a knot, take another one, tie a knot, suit your scissors, cut right above it, like so, and we got one side done, okay, like so, okay, now let's get the other side, another one. You're going to do the same thing, fold it, over it, place it in your sewing machine, and put your foot on the rheostat. Make sure you keep that fabric straight. You're going to do the same thing. Tying it. You're going to loop it like so, twisty. Take the other one, twist it, and then put it on. Like this. Okay, that's how you make a face mask to protect yourself from, you know, the common diseases. Um, it's not a level three like you would buy at the store, but it is something to put over 
yourself, and uh, maybe use a face shield along with it would help. But definitely your safety glasses, guys. Okay, so this is a dental assistant tutor teaching you how to do some sewing. But you guys already know how to, doctors, because you do sutures. Assistants, you already know how to cut the string. Boom. Okay, so let's get on board. Let's get this started. If anybody wants me to make them for you, I will. Um, just indicate if you're a male or a female. The fabric's going to be pretty much, you know, whatever it is. Um, but the cost will be, I don't know. We'll do four fifty. That way, I have time to make it and get the pipe cleaner and the stamp to mail it to you. Um, but I'm willing to sit here and make some for you guys. So just indicate um, what you need, and I'll leave the link below the video, guys. You know they're starting to take masks away. I wish I would have known this before I did my dental news, but they're starting to take masks away from dentists in certain towns and giving it to the hospitals, in which we understand they need it too. But us dental professionals need to have protection too, as long as we are open. And a lot of you guys are closing, so you may not even need this, but if you're staying open and you're out of masks, do not work on patients with nothing, please. That's all I'm asking. Watch the video again, make it, or order one. Um, until then, I'll be praying for everybody, and God bless.